Hey, sweet friends, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. My name is Jillian, and today, as you guys can see from the title, it is going to be a closet declutter and organize. So just finished pulling out all of my clothes, and now I'm giving you guys a view of everything that I pulled out. I just wanted to go through my clothes, reorganize, and also donate a few things just because I do want to buy a lot of new, new clothes. I feel like my style has definitely changed in the past few years. So I want to do like a clean out so I can go ahead and buy some new clothes Obviously, I'm not rich so I can't just get rid of all of my clothes and then buy a whole new wardrobe I wish I could but that's not in the budget So what I am doing is basically getting rid of a little bit at a time And then as I buy new clothes then I will continue to get rid of more things But I do feel like I got rid of quite a few things. I got rid of a lot of clothing and also some shoes so that's what i'll be doing today is just decluttering and organizing my closet as far as clothes and shoes <laughs> So question, where do you guys store all of your workout clothing? So I used to have it in a drawer, but now I just keep it in the closet. I hang up all of my workout tops. And then as far as my workout bottoms, like shorts, capris, and long pants, I fold them and put them on a shelf. But I do feel like I can organize them a little bit better. I don't know if I should keep them in a drawer or hang them all up. Let me know how you guys organize all of your workout clothes.
All right, guys, so this is my current situation. Everything is thrown everywhere, but I wanna show you guys really quickly. So these are the clothes that I'm keeping. I do want to buy like pretty much almost a full new wardrobe, not everything new, cause I am um, liking still a lot of these things, but my style has changed. But obviously I'm not rich. I can't just get rid of all my clothes and then go shopping for a new wardrobe. So I have to keep a lot so I can wear and little by little get rid of more things um, as I buy new clothes. But this is the big pile of clothes that I'm going to be donating. I actually have to sit and go through it really quickly to see what I can donate. And then if anything has stains or holes, just get rid of it. Um, these are like workout sweaters that I'm keeping. These are all of my workout bottoms. So I have some capris and then these are all of my long leggings and I try to like color coordinate it. So like the lighter ones and then darker ones. These are some workout shorts and then um, these are biker shorts right there. And then over there where Madison is, I have um, some workout tops. So these are all the workout tops I am going to be keeping over here. Then I have some more workout tops there that I'm gonna keep. And then these are all of the jeans that I'm going to be keeping as well. And then my sports bras. So that's everything I am keeping. But if you guys can see, all those hangers were full of clothes and now it's empty. So at least I did get rid of a good amount of things. So now that I have gone through all my clothes and got rid of what I wanted to get rid of and I have organized it all, I'm going to go ahead and place it all back into the closet. I put it in the order that I would like it. I like to do like tank top, short sleeves, and then quarter length sleeves, long sleeves, stuff like that. That's how I like to organize the clothes in the closet. Still doesn't look perfect. I would love to do a full makeover to this closet, but that's not in the budget right now. But eventually I would like to because our closet does not look the best. We patched up um, the wall there. As you guys can see, my vanity is in there. So it looks really messy, but this will just have to do for now. At least the clothes and everything is organized. also going through all my shoes as you guys can see and i think i got rid of a total of four shoes i know i got rid of a pair of sneakers two slip-ons sandals and maybe boots i got rid of a few things that i know i just don't wear the boots were super old and they were scuffed on the side so i got rid of those the sneakers i got rid of because they were kind of tight on me so got rid of those and then the other slip-ons i just never ever wear and i was just holding on to for i don't know why so i got rid of those as well and then right now i am just going through all the clothes that i would like to donate making sure that none of it have like holes or big stains and um folding it all neatly and placing it in a bag so i can go ahead and drop that off at some place where i can donate i know down the street from my house there's a bin that you can toss in donations or there's a few donation places like salvation army and stuff that i can drop this off to so just gonna organize all of that neatly and there were a few things that i did not donate just because like i said they either had holes or big stains so i tried to just donate things that were still in pretty good condition
All right, you guys, so I apologize. I just realized I never showed a before, but I am showing you guys now how it looks after I'm finished organizing it and getting rid of stuff. So now I have all this room here with all of these empty hangers to use. I did have a few of these clothing items on plastic hangers, which I switched out to my velvet hangers, but really quickly over here in the corner to have a robe and then it goes into like spaghetti straps, tank tops, um, crop top tees, and then my winter clothes, like long sleeves, sweater shirts and then um like some cardigans and then all the way back here i just have like two rompers and a few summer dresses up here and here is kind of like just a throw all in random stuff so a bunch of like cords and like extra phone cases stuff like that and here is all of my hats this one has all of my sports bras and then this is just like a cute box that i kept and then that hat i had bought when i went on a cruise a few years ago and i kept it over here is where all of my workout tops are. So it goes from like short sleeves into long sleeves, some more extra hangers. And then over here is where all of my workout bottoms are. So I have like my capris and my workout shorts in the front, just cause obviously it is summer. So this is where I usually grab more now that it's so hot. And then all these are my workout long pant like leggings. And that's how I have it set up. And then down here is just all of my jeans. And then this is all of my shoes that I decided to keep. Like I said, I would like to get rid of more, but I can't go on a shopping spree and buy a bunch of new shoes and clothes. So I kept a lot, but I did get rid of, I think maybe three pair of shoes, but that's how the shoes are looking on the rack. So I just thought I would show you guys a really quick after. Now this is the final after of everything that I'm going to be donating. Like I said, I did get rid of a few pair of shoes. I think one, two, three, four, four or five. I have a pair of sandals, boots, sneakers, and then two like slip-ons. So a few pair of shoes and then the rest are just clothing. All right, friends. So that is going to end my closet organization and declutter. So like I mentioned in this video, I would like to get like a whole new wardrobe. I've honestly had like the same clothes for years. I do buy little pieces here and there, but I've pretty much had like the same clothes for a really long time. And I feel like over the past few years, my style has just changed and I would really like a new wardrobe. But I'm not rich, so I can't just get rid of all of my clothes and then go shopping for all new clothing. So I have to get rid of a little bit at a time. So I think the amount that I got rid of today was a good, decent pile. Um, and then every once in a while, when I go out to the stores, I will pick up a few things here and there. And then once I collect enough clothing to get rid of more things, then I will go ahead and get rid of more items. But I feel like I did a good job today with organizing and decluttering. So I hope you guys found some motivation if you guys need some more motivation for cleaning, decluttering, organizing, definitely subscribe. I am going to be filming a, a lot more cleaning and decluttering organization videos here on my channel. I have a lot of video ideas written down. I've also pre-filmed a few, so definitely subscribe if you have not already. As always, thanks so much for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.